got some new team of the week players dropping. Yeah, Carlos Watkins and Deontay Johnson. Those are the LTDs. So we got Tony Fields, right outside run stopping linebacker. We're gonna have to look at his stats. Then we got Mike Dicka, St. Brown, Justin Simmons, Cameron Wake, Deron Bland, and Donovan Peoples Jones. Okay, so pretty interesting cards. Physical wide receiver, 94 speed, 6'3. This is a very solid card. 91 stiff arm, 95 spec catch, 91 CLD, 91 trucking. Oh, wow, but 96 juking. That's crazy. 91 chucking is really, really, really good. 92 speed. That's good. Uh, 88 finesse move. 83 power move. 89 block shed. So this kind of looks like a freaking finesse move pass rush type of guy. Why is his block shed only 89 and his power move is only 83? If he's a run stopper, shouldn't his power move be a little bit higher? I don't know. 73 catching. Does he got zone coverage? 87 COD, 91 impact blocking, a 79 zone, 94 hit power, 64 men. Yeah, this guy does not look like a very good card. We got Mike Dicka possession wide receiver, 92 speed, 6'3, 83 run blocking, which is really good. 91 catching, jumping 95, uh, pretty okay car. 94 trucking, 93 stiff arm, 86 COD, 95 catcher traffic, good deep route running, good route running altogether. His route running is pretty good. This is overall a pretty decent car, not bad. You know, if you run in a Bears theme team, get him up to 93, 94 speed if you really like that. Cameron Rake is a speed rusher, 91 speed, 95 finesse move. He is going to have edge threat elite. He's going to be actually really good. I will say that. 84 power move, 94 block shed, 89 tackle, pretty good card, 85 COD, 92 impact blocking. But yeah, this card's gonna be crazy coming off the edge, bro. I'm telling you, crazy coming off the edge with that 91 speed and edge threat elite. 94 speed, short 510, but that's okay. Good deep route running, good, well, decent mid, and good short. 93 catching, 94 catching traffic. He's not gonna be able to high ball, obviously, because he's 510. But overall, pretty good card, man. 93 COD. There's nothing really to talk about. He's a deep threat returner kind of 84 90 break tackling nothing crazy 94 juke move carlos watkins 83 speed a 93 tackling 96 block shot 85 power move 86 finesse move like he's really a run stopper he's not doing anything but stopping a run you know what i'm saying 86 impact blocking is kind of low considering he's like a run stopper so he's not going to be able to i don't think he's going to be too crazy of a run stopper he's going to be decent i don't want to go too crazy with these packs because they're not that good it's just 270 plus 181 plus team of the week player and 185 plus if we pull something crazy Crazy, you know we getting in we getting out but if we don't pull anything crazy we're gonna move on to some different packs let's see what we start off with 88 at Oliver. i've seen this car so much i'm actually tired of seeing him because the last team of the week pack opening he was the highlight as we get an 88 overall justin simmons not terrible decent start this justin simmons is he really good let's just see uh, he's kind of not usable bro i mean if you want to put him in a box and be your user let's see uh, no, 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 85, no way. 85 COD, 87 speed, he's definitely not usable. Hopefully we get something crazy as we get an 89 overall DeAndre Hopkins. Okay, so this is not our team. This is not our, our, our one that we want, but this is a solid one for Matthew Barry. You know, we want the big, big, big joint LTD 85. Fine. Decent for quick sale values, I will say that, but nothing crazy, nothing crazy, man. We need some nice bangers, man. I would love to see a crazy LTD right here, right now, EA. I would love to see it. All you gotta do is bless me one time with a 90 overall Chad Johnson. That's pretty good, but that's not our week. Yo, we're just getting banged up for the week, this week, man. I want some better cards, man. Like, we getting 85s. Like, the Chad Johnson is solid. I'm not going to complain. But we're just getting banged up for this week team of the week drop. I want to see Cameron Wake. Or not Cameron. Is that, that's his name, Cameron Wake. I want to see him right now. Here we go. Come on, yeah. 84 overall Preston Smith. Terrible, right? Let's go. This is a banger right here. Ah. 88 donovan people's jones like honestly at this point yeah i just feel like y'all should just take these two cards out bro like these 270 pluses ain't gonna do nothing just take them out man like make the pack 50k flat and just give us two 88s bro like come on or two 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 op opportunities at elites like because this ain't hidden for me i don't think i ever pull anything crazy out of here this is my yeah week 13 kind of bad all right so that was probably the highlight of our pack just today unless it's something crazy no that was the highlight of our pack as we get an 83 overall. So these packs were garbage. So we're gonna go ahead and, and, and smack some of these real quick. I ain't, I ain't went too crazy with these, but I just wanna see if I get some spicy. Have yet to pull anything spicy out of here. It's, this is all it's been, just a bunch of 84s. I'll probably knock off like 10K training 
probably say the other 20k for some harvest rolls because the harvest rolls are a lot better as far as building some of those team builders if you guys don't know what i'm talking about check out the last video i'm also going to be uploading a video on the second channel where i kind of go through and explain how i was able to build marcus Mariota and make some decent profit on that card honestly it didn't take much of any time like i was able to make like 200k on a marcus Mariota, but it's going to be on the second channel so make sure y'all go over there and subscribe to the second channel because that's where the video is going to be at as we get a 90 overall travis kelsey okay travis Okay, Travis, do we quick sell and go for a 94? Let's see how much he's going for. Maybe, maybe, maybe we just say, these ain't going for nothing. 50K, we'll go down to 20K, like I said, and see if we get some more bangers. Because that 50K, that, I ain't doing too much of anything right now, bro. We need a banger quick, a quick 93, a quick, oh, no, no, 94's come out of here. A quick 94, that would be beautiful. That would take care of majority of the pack the money we just spent on packs and we don't get it we get a saquon barkley so we're gonna hold on to this one and then we're gonna go ahead and i'm gonna do the harvest rolls like i said if you guys want to see the method to this I, I actually uploaded a video earlier kind of explaining it but on the second channel is where i go through and show you exactly how i've been able to build some of these team infinity players for low cost man very low cost and it's going to work as long as the prices stay consistent as far as training as long as the prices stay consistent as far as uh the team infinity players which it looks like they're going to stay that high because they're not that easy to make probably going to knock off 3k train and take us down to 15k and see if we get anything spicy i still have yet to pull a 93 out of this roll my rolls haven't been this good this year i ain't even going to lie to y'all i don't think i really pull anything crazy the first promo which was ultimate kickoff for me that was my best promo for ltds outside of that i haven't pulled anything no big pools no ltds no nothing bro it's sad it hurts my feelings ea please stop scamming me like i just don't understand but we're gonna see it through you know what i'm saying hopefully we can get a 93 out of here i seen a lot of people say like they're getting 93s and i'm like all right i'm at least 300k training in no 93 put a couple 90s but no 93 so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys in the next one subscribe to the second channel if you want to see how i do this method